uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, and uh, happy trading to you all. Uh, today is the 18th of uh, November 2010, uh, and uh, uh, happy trading to you all. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only, is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell uh, uh, securities, okay? And it's primarily for the TSTW24 uh, traders, okay? Uh, if you want to buy the TSTW24 trading system, you need to go to www.stochasticmagd.com. Okay, we also use the master key day trading system. And uh, if you are interested in the master key day trading system, uh, you need to go to www.dayprotraders.com. Okay, right here, I want to show you something very fast uh, as we are busy. Okay. Uh, working every day, okay, uh, to give to traders the tools that perfectly work, okay. Uh, right now, uh, where are we? Uh, there is uh, an inverted head and shoulder uh, pattern on this uh, Euro USD uh, chart here, okay. This is uh, the left shoulder here, and uh, this is uh, uh, the head here, okay. This is uh, uh, the right shoulder here, okay. As you can see, looking at this, it's not very clear, I think so. And um, every uh, trader will look at this and see uh, something different, okay? And somebody may look at this and say, okay, this is just uh, a double bottom pattern, okay? Another may look at it and say, there's nothing there to, to, to be recognized, okay? But uh, all you need to remember is that uh, uh, as a trader, you see, you should train your eyes to recognize uh, uh, the patterns, okay? And then uh, if you look carefully, if, if, if you want to remember, where do we have the inverted head of the shoulder? Where and when? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Where and when do we have the inverted head and shoulder? We usually have inverted head and shoulder after a downtrend, okay? So the euro was going down, going down, going down, which means displaying lower lows and lower highs, okay? And uh, right here, as you can see, this uh, low, and uh, compared to this low here, is a lower low in this session here. And this low here, where I'm rotating the cursor, compared to this one here, this is uh, a higher, a higher low, okay? Th this one here is a higher low compared to this one here, okay? So that's when we have an inverted head and shoulder, which is indicating to us, the inverted head and shoulder is indicating to us the weakness in the downtrend, okay? So this was, that's, that's the question you need to ask yourself. When do we have the inverted head and shoulder? That's, that's why sometimes some people find it difficult to recognize this uh, pattern. But if you understand clearly the pattern, you can locate it at any point, okay? Here, if you look carefully, okay? The prior was going down in this session here, going down, going down, okay? Display a low here, and then it display here, not a lower, a lower low, but equal low. This is equal low, okay? If I put my uh, horizontal line here, this is equal lows, okay? So there was a low in this session here, I'll remove this. There was a low in this session here, and there was another low here, and there was another low. They all equal lows, okay? But then something has happened, okay? The price couldn't continue movement to the outside. This is what I call uh, a failure of uh, uh, a double bottom or triple bottom pattern. If that happened, it's another signal. You take advantage of that quickly, okay? And then that day was easy trade here. The price went down big time, okay? And here again, as you can see, okay? Looking at the price itself, the number one indicator, and using also the definition of the downtrend, okay? We know that uh, the price uh, display a low here, which was equal to this low, okay? So a low, and a lower low, and now a higher low, okay? This is where you quickly recognize the inverted head and shoulder pattern. So when and where, okay? When and where, okay? When is during the downtrend, display a weakness, informing us that there is a kind of weakness happening now, okay? That's when, if during the downtrend, we can see an inverted head and shoulder. Well, you will see it where, when the price failed to display a, a lower low. That's where, okay, when the price failed to display a lower low, that's where we will locate the inverted head and shoulder. So now I think uh, you can master this uh, pattern, the inverted head and shoulder, once and for all, and knowing when and where, okay? And how do you handle that? 
I want to show you something very simple here, talking about the target. Well, last time I did a video when I talked about the target of the Fibonacci projection, okay, and I told you that uh, I don't very much like to talk about the target of the price, because what usually happens, when people look at the target, okay, which is in theory, that's the target in theory, but the reality can be something else, people tend to be a bit... Um, uh, to, uh, uh, I don't know, to try to impose that target on the price, that the price must go to that target. But it's not always like that. The price does not have to go to that target. This is why I don't <laughs> like too much to teach about target. I leave it uh, to the side, okay? But uh, it's also important to show you how you can use the target when you use the inverted head and shoulder pattern. Okay, so I will draw now my uh, my lines. Okay, the neckline of uh, this uh, inverted head and shoulder pattern. This is my necklines. Okay, and then what you do? You project. Okay, you project. Okay, this distance here. Okay, the lower part to the neckline. Okay, and then you copy that line. Okay, that's how you're going to do uh, your 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 target. You copy that line and uh, put it where the breakout is okay so the breakout happen somewhere here okay that's there so this is our target okay so I'll put their target okay so target 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 so we put it there okay so when the pie break out here, you set your target there already, okay? This is our target, when the pie was here, we knew that the pie has a tendency or has a high probability to reach this zone, okay? What I will do quickly, I will highlight that also for you, so you know where we want the spotlight to be. That's why you do on your chart, nothing stop you to do that. So this is how you do the projection of uh, to know the target of the inverted head and shoulder. So once we look at the inverted head and shoulder, we project the distance of the lower low, where the price display lower low before displaying the higher low, that distance from here to the vertical projection, okay? vertical projection kick of your mat when you're at school vertical projection to the neckline the neckline is this line here okay if you do not know about the inverted head and shoulder or the head and shoulder pattern because they are similar one is inverted one is a normal one you can go on google and there are plenty of excellent information about the inverted head and shoulder and there is um, and you can know about the target, okay? So how you do the target for the inverted head and shoulder, how you do the target for the for the head and shoulder pattern, head how you do the target for the the triangle and uh, all the rest of it. But uh, that's not my favorite uh, side because I keep my eye wide open and uh, I follow the price and uh, use the TSTW24, the TSTWSYS08, and the master key the trading system. And uh, I don't try to force too much the target on the price, but I can just locate it and put it behind my head, okay, <laughs> and cream the market consistently, okay? Because uh, if you get too much into this uh, targeting, you may try to say, okay, it's, it has to go up because now it break it here, it has to go up by all means and uh, the target is there, why is not going to the target and you get into conflict with the price you don't want to be in conflict with the price, okay, you want to be in harmony with your, 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 your the price, because the, the price is like your sweetheart, okay, you follow it, you trust the price, okay and then uh, you, you, you use your indicator, that's what I said to you, we use our indicator also, you look at the price first and then you look at the indicator, okay and all the TSTW24 know how to do this, so this is about how you set the target, projection this distance here to here and as you can see um, today sometimes the price will be perfectly uh, friendly okay and then they hit the target there that's where the price went okay they hit it there and it turned around okay so what we will do here uh, uh, we will uh, draw a line there we'll give us a warning line okay and uh, we call it that uh, red okay so this is our uh, target was hit already so that's why most of the traders who know this pattern and the target they know this and they came out here right here and they sold it so you may also also the price if, if you don't know the target just looking at the price uh, there is a resistance here okay i'll show you that if you that's why i said you, you don't need to know all this okay but it's good to know 
There was a resistance here. There was a resistance here. Okay. So using the price cell, that's what I said to you. Everything is in the price. The price does not hide anything. You see? Even if you don't know this target, you use only the price resistance level on this chart, you will definitely come out there. You will know that there is a top here, a top here. It's a kind of triple top zone. Triple top zone, we know that it's a hot spot resistance zone. These are the, the bear gathering price. If you see a triple top, that's the signature of the bear. So do not forget those levels. As I said to you, when you see a triple top, never ever forget that. Write it down on a piece of paper. Same thing if you see a triple bottom, do not forget that level. Write it down because uh, these are the signatures in the market. And uh, you see, not knowing the target and respecting only the price itself, the number one indicator, you will definitely come out here or look for opportunity to sell right here, okay? So that's what I'm talking about all the time. And again, if I draw another horizontal line for you here, uh, you will see clearly that this is uh, a, a bottom here, this line here, and the prior respect, you see, it came back and it tested here. So when we are selling here, the next target is where? Is this level here, okay? So you try to take profit at 13572. You see, and uh, using the prior itself. Here again, if I draw a line here, okay this line the price came uh, down okay touch it okay went back down come back there touch it again went back down and right there it's a it's a key level look what the price did the price break above it come back and retest it nicely here and right there if you look carefully here this is what i'm talking about keeping your eyes wide open never ever blink okay <laughs> no, that's to to do to 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 have a bit of fun okay and then uh, right here the trend line is broken okay nice you see when display double bottom here and uh, when i break above the resistance this uh, level okay went up pull back nicely a trend line broken boom you see boom and, uh, and you see people take profit here because they know this level of here that some of the clever traders take profit here exactly there and you look at the party the price break above the resistance again pull back again okay and again boom up next level okay just keep your eyes open following the price this was he did here now we are here if we break this one again what he's going to do he's going to go above it try to find a support if he find a support above it he will continue to move as but if he fell the next target here now if the price going down the price seeking a better support level okay just to check my time with you too quickly okay so if the price is going down, it's looking for better support level. So we have the support level already. So now this one, you will try to, to seek this support level. And if this support, if you break below it, you have to come back and retest it. If, if it couldn't break above it, that's a sell signal straight away. And then the next target will be this one here. And if it break below it, it must come and retest it. It's man money always like the price to retest the level. All it, you see here, it can be hit it, come back. That's the first attempt went down come back again try to retest again now it fell here people sold it straight away but uh, you see the price was stubborn you see the bulls that were in this level here the price was consolidating uh, this year and as i said to you the market pattern these are the ones we talk about the market pattern day in day out market pattern consolidation and uh, trend okay this was happening all the time okay so i hope uh, you learned something from uh, uh, this video that you put into practice in order to cream this market consistent you see market pattern trend this is the pause okay pause and then trend you see here there was a there was a, i'll show you this uh, before i finish this video very fast uh, uh, because you know our intention is that to give to trade tools that way okay there was a trend a downtrend and then there was a horizontal which is a consolidation and then there was another trend again so probably we may have another consolidation before the price going up it depends how enthusiastic people are and like i said you expecting the euro to pull a bit up okay uh, to give us uh, another opportunity to resell okay and here again you see the power was horizontal there was a pause okay horizontal movement pause trend pause market pattern another trend again we may have another pause or it may start a new trend completely trend pause trend market pattern not chart pattern here the double the inverted head and shoulder is a chart pattern trend pause trend is a market pattern okay so this is about how you can use the tst uh w but at the same time use the chart pattern uh like inverted head and shoulder how you can master your tools okay and also use the target on the inverter head and shoulder this is about my blah 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 today i hope uh, you enjoy my blah 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 okay and uh, use your stop loss and keep your eyes wide open 
do not blink okay <laughs> but enjoy your train until the next time enjoy yourself be very happy thank you